Inside the USS George H.W. Bush, daily operations aboard the powerful aircraft carrier. Welcome to U.S. Military Patriot. As a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier in the United States Navy, USS George H.W. Bush is very, depending on factors such as deployment status, mission objectives, and routine maintenance schedules. Here's an overview of what typically happens during the operations in USS George H.W. Bush. Flight Operations Flight operations begin with extensive preparation. This includes briefing pilots and flight deck crews, inspecting aircraft, and coordinating with air traffic control. Aircraft are positioned on the flight deck, either in hangars or on the deck itself, in preparation for launch. The launch process involves catapult-assisted takeoffs for fixed wing aircraft, which are accelerated to flying speed by steam-powered catapults. After completing their missions, aircraft return to the carrier for recovery. This involves landing on the relatively small landing area of the carrier deck, often assisted by arresting wires that help decelerate the aircraft. Once landed, aircraft are quickly moved to designated areas on the flight deck using a complex system of aircraft elevators, tractors, and crews. This process is critical for clearing the landing area for subsequent landings and launching operations. Aircraft that have landed may require refueling and rearming before they can be launched again. This process is carried out swiftly to minimize downtime. Flight operations also involve ongoing maintenance activities to ensure the aircraft remain in optimal condition. This can include inspections, repairs, and servicing. Flight operations are conducted under strict safety protocols to prevent accidents and ensure the well-being of personnel. This includes adherence to standard operating procedures, use of safety gear, and constant communication among flight deck crews. Flight operations aboard an aircraft carrier are typically conducted in a continuous cycle, with aircraft launching and recovering throughout the day and night as required by mission demands. The carrier's flight deck would likely be bustling with activity as aircraft are launched and recovered. This includes fighter jets, reconnaissance planes, and other aircraft conducting training exercises, patrols, or operational missions. Maintenance. Regular inspections are conducted on various systems and equipment throughout the ship to detect any issues or potential problems. This includes inspections of propulsion systems, electrical systems, hull integrity, and more. Planned maintenance tasks are scheduled based on manufacturer recommendations, operational requirements, and historical data. This includes preventive maintenance, such as lubrication, filter changes, and calibration of equipment to prevent breakdowns. When issues are identified during inspections or through monitoring systems, corrective maintenance is performed to address the problem. This can range from minor repairs to more extensive overhauls of equipment or systems. Quality assurance processes are in place to ensure that maintenance tasks are performed to high standards and in accordance with established procedures. This may involve inspections and audits to verify compliance. A significant portion of the day would be dedicated to maintenance tasks to ensure the ship and its systems are fully operational. This could involve routine inspections, repairs, and upkeep of various equipment, including the ship's propulsion systems, electronics, and aircraft launch and recovery systems. Security. The ship is equipped with physical security measures to control access and prevent unauthorized entry. This includes restricted areas, access control points, and security patrols throughout the ship. With the increasing reliance on technology and networked systems, cybersecurity is paramount to protect the ship's critical systems and information from cyber threats. This includes robust network security measures, regular cybersecurity training for personnel, and adherence to best practices for securing information systems. 
Given the strategic importance of an aircraft carrier, security measures would be in place around the clock to protect the ship and its personnel from potential threats, both external and internal. Training and Drills Crew members regularly participate in firefighting drills to ensure they are prepared to respond swiftly and effectively in the event of a fire on board. This includes training in the use of firefighting equipment, techniques for containing and extinguishing fires, and coordination of firefighting teams. Damage control drills simulate various scenarios, such as flooding or structural damage, to test the crew's ability to respond and mitigate the effects of such incidents. This involves training in procedures for sealing leaks, controlling flooding, and stabilizing the ship. Medical training is essential for onboard medical personnel and crew members designated as first responders. This includes training in basic first aid, CPR, treatment of injuries, and management of medical emergencies until professional medical assistance can be provided. Crew members are trained to respond to various other emergencies that may arise, such as hazardous material spills, power outages, or medical emergencies. The crew would engage in ongoing training and drills to maintain readiness and proficiency. This could include firefighting exercises, damage control drills, medical training, and simulated combat scenarios. Rest and Recreation The ship's morale, welfare, and recreation program organizes a variety of recreational activities and events to enhance the quality of life for crew members. These programs may include tours, concerts, themed events, and excursions during port visits. Commanders and officers aboard the USS George H.W. Bush recognize the importance of adequate rest for the health and well-being of the crew. Scheduled rest periods are incorporated into the daily routine to ensure that crew members have opportunities for sufficient sleep and downtime. The ship is equipped with designated recreation areas where crew members can unwind during their downtime. These areas may include lounges, libraries, gyms, and outdoor spaces for physical activities. Crew members also need time for rest and recreation to maintain morale and well-being. The ship would likely have designated areas and times for relaxation, physical exercise, and leisure activities. The USS George H.W. Bush is a multi-layered effort that involves a combination of physical, technological, procedural, and personnel-based measures to protect the ship and its personnel from potential threats. Life aboard this billion ship involves a carefully orchestrated balance of operational tasks, maintenance activities, training, and downtime to ensure the ship remains mission-ready at all times. Ooh, in the...
Ooh. Oh, I'm going to get there.